Hey, I'm Russ, and this is Lauren, and we are here on the Infectious Groove Music YouTube channel. Now, we have covered certain topics in the past that I think come with uh, like some sort of derogatory meaning, like uh, guilty pleasures, and uh, and we always put a positive spin on them. And I think for whatever reason, the term power ballad has a negative connotation to it, which I don't understand at all. I don't know why you wouldn't want to listen to. Uh, uh, that's power just ballad. so much power. Yeah, and it. It's one of those things where it just became a thing, like the term arena rock uh -huh. became a thing somewhere along the line. And then somewhere after that, it be somehow became an insult to be like, we sell out arenas. You know, power bales was the same way. Like in the 80s, somewhere along the line, somebody coined the phrase. And then like later, people were like, oh, that's power bell. Yeah. You know, and it mm -hmm. became. So Lauren has some examples of songs that I think. Most of these are from way before people even used the phrase yeah. power bell. Yeah. 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 Because I, 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 it popped into my head the other day. I'm like, when did the term power ballad get coined? And honestly, I couldn't find like an actual, any actual yeah. information. So that sent me down a rabbit hole. Having lived through that, my only guess is late 80s, I would say, like, would it be whenever like every artist had to have a ballad? I uh -huh. think somewhere around there was when that. Yeah. Yeah. That, but I think these picks that you have. People are going to be like, oh, yeah, I never thought about that. That yeah. was a power ballad. Like, these are the things that are kind of, like, setting the formula for what that was. Yeah, yeah. And so the earliest one I have on my list is the song Without You by Badfinger, which has been covered countless times. But if you go and listen to the actual, like, the original Badfinger version of this song, it has all of the pieces there. Like, it's got that kind of slow introspective um yeah. you know intro to it and then when that chorus hits it's just like boom yeah. you know yeah a bad finger i too believe is one of those bands that did a lot of things before other people yeah. did you know and had a lot more influence than most people mm -hmm. realize and certainly in the uh power battle game now this next group is one that uh, definitely was around in the heyday of power ballads. You could list probably 10 power ballads they released between like uh 86 and 96 mm -hmm. right and but somehow this song that you have listed is like not known as a power ballad, but it's so it is. It totally is. Dream On by Aerosmith yeah. is totally a power ballad and like fight me, I guess. Yeah. Cause it, it, it is. It do, it's doing the same thing that without you did. And and well, it's, it's, I mean, it's, well, keep it in Aerosmith's silo. It's yeah. doing the same thing Angel does and that, with yeah. what it takes and mm -hmm. all that. Yeah. And I, you get out, sure, uh, the dream, lyrics to Dream On are quote, you know, deeper than Angel or what it takes or whatever and written by a significantly younger person. But the structure of the song is it's still same. a power ballad. Yeah. It's still absolutely power ballad. Now, this next one is one that I don't know why, but I thought it was much, uh, released much later than it was. Uh -huh. But, um, I don't think fans of this band would argue, like, I think Aerosmith fans would argue with you mm -hmm. about Dream On. I don't think anybody would argue with you about this song. No, I don't think so. Um, I'm talking about Lady by Styx. And I've got a feeling Dennis DeYoung is out there somewhere wearing his. As I invented the power ballad cap like, yeah. proudly. Either him or his wife are out yeah. playing, playing it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, again, in, in sticks, babe. Uh -huh. uh, lady, but uh, Lady is older than Babe, I believe. Lady yeah. is older than Babe. Not the world's biggest uh, Sticks expert. But, lady you know. was the song that Tommy Shaw had to sing for his audition to get into Sticks. Oh, right on. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, uh, there you go. So that's early. But yeah, that's definitely, I don't think any Sticks fan would argue. No. That's definitely a big one. Uh, the next one again, these these folks know <laughs> of their way around a power ballad. They're probably, this man is probably responsible, partially at least, for the the term being coined. I, I would, yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Journey, Open Arms, I mean, that is the quintessential power ballad. I agree with you. My personal favorite Journey ballad will always be Faithfully. Oh, yeah, that's great. But, yeah. Oh, open you, Arms what is... What are you going to do yeah, with Open Arms? I mean, just for, and they both start with piano, but the I would argue, even though Faithfully is uh, my personal fa I favor fa Faithfully heavily, uh, Open Arms has a more iconic piano opening. Yes. Than, during, than Open Dun, Arms does, yeah. in my opinion. Uh, than, than Faithfully, yeah. rather. Uh, now, the last one that you have on here, I would, my only bone to pick with this one is I think this is more of a rock song than a ballad. I would like a lot of the ones you have on here and what people think of as power ballads, when they get uh, big and boomy, they're still ballady. Mm -hmm. And for me, when this song takes off, it's like, that was a ballad. Yep, and now it's not. You know, it's, but uh -huh. I, yeah. I guess for the comments, will it, do you consider this one a power ballad or not? Okay. Uh, Sister Christian by Night Ranger. And I see what you're saying. I feel like most of the other ones have more of a balance between the power and the ballad. This is like... Ballad, I just feel power, like one ballad. Step, yeah, and I know the second verse goes back down to mm -hmm. the same, but like uh, Kelly Carey's drumming on it. Uh, uh, the singer of the song, by the way, no one knows that, that the drummer from Night Ranger is the guy that sang that song. Uh, but 
I don't know. It just for me, once that first course hits, I don't think of it as a ballad anymore. Yeah, that's fair. Whereas almost every everything you have on this list, like they they all come back down to a point yeah. of being a ballad. Um, but again, it's you know this is all fun. It's not like we're not full on arguing about it. But uh, let us know. I would like to know. We always say you know, hey, leave us a comment about this that or the other thing. Uh, let us know what you think of that with. Uh, Sister Christian, because I'm on the fence about that one. But then I also think the same people will probably be like, well, how can you call Dream On a power ballad yeah. if you don't call, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, those are five power ballads. Uh, we don't use that term bad nope. at all. Uh, you you could probably style these in with the uh, uh, Guilty Pleasures video you did not long ago. Spoiler alert, we're not ashamed of Guilty Pleasure uh, songs either. But we always love to hear from you. Uh, leave us a, a comment and let us know uh, if anybody even knows like who said power ballad first or or whatever or what some of your favorite power ballads are. And it, might, it could have come out yesterday. We don't care. Mm -hmm. But we're just giving you five examples of five early ones. Uh, but if you would, please drop a like on the video. Uh, please, actually, if you're in any music groups on Facebook or whatever else or any social media, um, share our videos out there because that helps the channel grow. We would appreciate it. And as we always say in all these videos, thank you so much for watching.